What's up guys? Good morning. Chris Basil builds here. It's jet ski season again. So here we are back again. Uh, I've got my first unit for sale this summer here in Oklahoma. If you guys are uh, somewhere around the Northeast Oklahoma area and you want a jet ski, follow me at Chris Basil on Facebook and you'll see all of my stuff for sale on Marketplace. Anyways, uh, this is a 1997 Kawasaki Jet Ski 750 twin cylinder two stroke. Um, this is one that I picked up a couple years ago and it had sat for a while. So I did all the maintenance to it, uh, carburetor kits, new fuel lines. Uh, this being that it's a Kawasaki, it's got the Keyheen carburetor instead of the Makuni carburetors like c and everybody else uses. Um, I personally like primer kits on these because the chokes just don't work very good. Uh, as far as making them quick starting, primer kit's the way to go. So I did that on this one. Um, it is on a 1993 trailer. It's got tags on it. I don't know. Uh, Oklahoma doesn't tag trailers, but this one has been fully refreshed. It's got new wheels, new tires, new bearings, new lights, new paint, new bunks, new carpet. Um, fully rewired. It is good to go. This thing you can pull to California if you want. Ski itself is in, I would say, good condition for its age. Um, it is a 1997, so it's not perfect. You can see it does have typical sitting outside and not leaned back issues from water sitting in the footwells. Um, I just re-glued the footwells back in, so they should be good for a while. Uh, it is missing one foot pad. I believe if you cared that much, you could just buy a new set. It's also missing the fronts, but you know, good to go. Good to ride. I rode it all the last summer without foot pads. I just left them in the backyard. So um, this is a 752 stroke. Pretty simple ski. Um, it is pre-mixed, meaning that you mix the gas and the oil. The oiler has been removed. Uh, pretty popular change on these older skis. The trailer is a two inch ball. That's a big deal for me. I hate one and seven eighths balls. Um, this thing's got a little bit of storage here. For your fire extinguisher and a couple of items, probably a life jacket or two. This is a walking compartment. Um, this is a 90s Kawasaki, so it's got a fuel valve, pretty basic. It's got a locking compartment here, which is where I keep the key. I've got a new lanyard, good lanyard for it. And this is one of the Kawasaki's that has the magnetic key. I'll even include this cool key tag for you. It's got a whistle built in here. So you've got fire extinguisher and whistle, so you're all legal. I replaced the choke with a primer. So that's pretty straightforward. Gauge cluster also quite straightforward. This is an old Kawasaki, so it's got the spring loaded steering. It's got your trim gauge to the left. This does have power trim. Uh, it's got your gas gauge to the right and speedo in the middle. Gas gauge and speedo are non-operating. Non um, it does have a reserve on the fuel tank, so not a big deal. It is a finger throttle, unlike a Sea-Doo, which is nice. The engine is pretty clean for its age. Ironically, I had to obtain a storage title on this thing because when I bought it, it didn't come with a title. Um, the last registered owner actually reached out to me and told me that his late father had put a new engine in it before letting it sit. You know, that's a story you get. I don't know if I believe it or not, but the engine runs really good. So, I mean, it's possible. Uh, like I said, I did go through both carburetors, so they're good to go. It's got new plugs and some spares right there. We're talking two stroke here. Um, big thing I like about the primer is how easy it starts. So I'll just do a quick, I don't want to run it for too long because it's kind of early and I want to it's my neighbor's off, but so you got to turn your main switch on like so. Put that away, don't lose it. Got your lanyard here. This is a multiple lanyard, I bought it off Amazon, but I think this is the wide one. Yeah, that one. Give it, you can feel it. Give it a couple pumps. And just 
looks like that. Runs like a top. So, yeah, like I said, two stroke, a little smoky, not too bad. It does have oil mixed in it. I mix it at uh, 40 to one, like recommended. So, yeah, good to go. Nice old ski, real simple. Um, definitely a good one to uh, get for the kids, good one to just have around. Just wanted to do a season opener jet ski video for the channel and uh, check in with you guys and see what's up. I've, I've, I'm sorry, I've been doing a whole bunch of projects and I've just not been doing a good job at keeping up with them. So I've got about a three hour long video I took of putting a new engine in my Jeep Wrangler over here. It's probably gonna be super sunny, you probably can't even see it. That 2008 Jeep Wrangler right there, put an engine in it. But the video just got long, drawn out, and it really sucked. So I didn't feel like putting it out. We've also got our 2003 GTX Fortech here, getting ready to go on its trailer. I didn't do a video on the ski, but there's not really much to talk about. It was just kind of a pickup and it runs. It just needs a cluster, but I think I'm just gonna sell it on this trailer like this the way it is and get it out of here. Got an open trailer for more projects. And I've got a couple of customer skis here really hoping I can end up with maybe one or both of these. Got a 2004 RXT, RXP two-seater, uh, 215 supercharged here. And uh, next to it, we've got an 08 under the cover RXPX 255. These skis are both sweet, but um, they've both been sitting for a long time and they're all sunbaked and they need love. So also, We've got the 99 XL 1200, um, the trailer transfer ski. I've had this thing on and off about 17 trailers at this point. I need to fix the pipe on it, fix the seat cover, and could probably sell that one too. We'll get there. So anyways, if you guys are in the Tulsa area or Northeast Oklahoma looking for a cheap jet ski, this is it. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Chris Basil Builds. Talk soon.